Greetings! Today I'll try and show you how I made my own millway covers and saved some dollars as opposed to buying a pre-made ones. Besides monetary savings, I was able to customize it to my specific needs. So without too much talking, let's get straight to it. The material of choice for this project is 116 inch thick cotton fiber reinforced rubber sheet from eBay where I paid under $20 for it. The reason for this choice is that it offered best size to cost ratio and of course it's reinforced. After careful and super precise measurements were taken and considerations for customizations made, such as having the way cover overhang on the right side to help protect the z-axis linear scale, the fun part began. Then I realized that I could save some material and have enough to make a front way cover as well. Having everything square saved some headache down the road. I was also trying to find some 16 or 18 gauge stainless strips to wrap the edges with but could not justify spending too much for what was available. So I decided I will benefit from using simple galvanized sheet metal from a box store, especially since I already had a piece laying around. If I cut two separate strips to be riveted from either side, the edge would not be strong enough. Thus, the decision has been made to cut a double width strip and fold it around the edge like so. Then I drilled and riveted it with 1 8 rivets. And same goes for the other end as well. Only two rivets are used per edge for it will also be fastened to the machine with two more screws which should be plenty enough. When the piece was ready to be mounted it simply didn't look right, too short. Luckily another bright idea visited my head before it was too late. Or did it? Anyhow, I extended the cover by adding a leftover rubber piece by the means of one more metal strip that was double folded. Later I thought I probably could have gotten away with simply cement gluing the pieces together, but then again I'm not sure how rubber cement would react to some coolant and cutting fluids. This connecting strip gets four rivets, and of course it just couldn't work right. The extended piece fits just right and it's time to put it on the machine. The tap is held in this holder so that the drill chuck doesn't hit the metal base. Don't forget to clean all debris. I like the way it looks so far. It seemed like it would sufficiently protect that linear glass scale too. It's time to attach the other end. Sometimes I feel like some of the stuff I order from China is nothing but some sort of Chinese revenge on us. This time my only so-called high-speed steel tap broke and stayed in the hole. Good thing I'm doing a voiceover or else this video would be flagged as rated. So I used a tap from carbon steel set from Harbor Freight. Guys, don't buy it if you want to tap anything. Just don't.
So far, it looks like it will serve its purpose. Right now, I'm trying to find the best way to fold it so that it works. Just playing with this. The commercially available frontway covers are corrugated or accordion shaped so that they collapse and stay out of the way. But I had to try and make my own. Same technique is used to treat edges and then attach them to the machine, except now I'm using remaining smaller tap. I fold the rubber so that it's somewhat manageable and reasonably compact. The savings are definitely worth this minor inconvenience. If you saw something you like, hit that thumb up. If you didn't, I encourage you to leave me a comment so I can improve. Please don't forget to share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day!